The Credit Union Sacktown Run is coming up this weekend. This event will take place Sunday morning right in front of the Capitol and is a fun event for the entire family as well as for serious runners. Schools First Federal Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the Credit Union Sacktown Run. Here to tell us more is John Pamer, the chair of the Credit Union Sacktown Run, along with Michelle Lindenberger, UC Davis Children's Hospital Nursing Professional Development Specialist. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm excited to talk about this. John, can you give us an overview of the run and what participants can, can expect? Well, hopefully they can expect no rain, right? We're yeah. all tired of the rain, <laughs> and hopefully they can expect to get out and do something fun. So. Credit unions have long helped children's hospitals. When you open an account at a credit union, become a member, you become part owner of that credit union. Your funds stay local. The things that credit unions do stay local. Since 2012, when we started the Credit Union Sacktown Run, we've raised over two and a half million dollars for children's hospitals in California and Nevada. Most of that has gone right here to UC Davis in Sacramento. So uh, this uh, Sunday morning, uh, we're going to have another event. Uh, it's a 5K, it's a one mile walk, it's a 10 mile run, it's, it's accessible for everybody, but most importantly, it helps raise money for Children's Hospital right here in Sacramento. Yeah, and it's nice to know that it stays local. Exactly. Michelle, as someone who is in the hospital every day working with children and their families, give us, give us an idea of why the Credit Union Sacktown Run is important. So this event has a huge impact on what we do at UC Davis Children's Hospital. We are the Central Valley's only nationally ranked level one pediatric trauma center. So we serve and care for children in 33 counties in, in California and cover over 65,000 square miles. We get about 7,000 admissions a year at UC Davis Children's Hospital. We see over 5,000 pediatric surgeries, and we also see over 16,000 children in our pediatric ER. So we really have a huge impact on the region in the care we provide for children. Being a Children's Miracle Network hospital, we are able to use these funds to advance in the research, the education, and the programs that we can provide. So it's, it's crucial and we're grateful. Yeah, what are some uh, examples of the way the hospital has used funds raised in past run events? Wonderful question. So different um, areas where we've utilized those funds, we have a pediatric ultrasound um, IV uh, program that we use. So when mom comes in with their baby, um, it's really the biggest fear knowing that your child needs to be poked for an IV. So with this ultrasound machine, it's absolutely amazing. We can precisely look, locate the IV, decrease the amount of pain, the amount of stress that the family experiences, and especially the child, and really um, provide that compassionate care that we know we can deliver. We also updated our MRI scanner to be pediatric friendly. So pediatric family uh, friendly under, under the water theme uh, with MRI goggles. So really trying to do everything we can to make this stressful experience one that is, is not going to be. Yeah, and it's great that you're able to take those steps to do so for patients and their families. Yeah. Is there still time to register for the run? Absolutely, and you don't have to be a professional runner. You don't have to be a member of a credit union. <laughs> uh, there's something for everybody. Uh, there's a one mile that you can walk. There's a 5K that can also be walked. If you're a really good runner, you can sign up for a 10 mile run. There's even a beer garden at the end. <laughs> this is going to be at the west steps of the Capitol. Um, all, the fi all three races finish across the Tower Bridge, so you're going to get a really iconic view of the state capitol as you come across that bridge. Most important thing is do something to help the, the children here. Yeah, and it's good to know you don't have to be a prof professional runner. <laughs> Not so at I all. I can do this. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> good to know. Michelle, is there a way that people can help support the Children's Hospital even if they can't make it out to the Sacktown Run? Yes, absolutely. So they can go to runsacktown.org, scroll down to the and click on the donate button for Children's Miracle Network. Uh, and this is a fantastic way to be involved, to give back and really make a difference in a child's life. Yeah, and again, remind our viewers when that run's taking place. Sunday morning uh, at the west steps of the Capitol. Perfect. First event is at 7.30. Won't take up your whole day. Yeah. Uh, you can come out and, and just help out uh, with the uh, fundraising for Children's Miracle Network Hospital right here in Sacramento. Awesome. And what's been the reaction from people who have gone to the run in the past when they're able to participate, knowing that they're able to give back as well? It's, it's fantastic. I mean, it, you might think, well, I go for a jog every morning or I go for a walk around my neighborhood every night. But you're actually helping others when you when you participate in this event. It's bigger than just yourself. You're giving back to your community, and so that that's what people feel the most pride uh, about taking taking part in this event. Yeah, we want to take some pride, Michelle and John. Thank you so much for joining thank us this you. morning. Thank you. You bet. And to inspire achievement, step by step, and join in on the run. 
visit runsactown.org. And if you are a qualifying member for Schools First Federal Credit Union, you can visit one of the many branch locations as seen on the screen. And as always, you can find out more about Schools First by going to schoolsfirstfcu.org.